Hi, my name's Donald Cross, I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland, and I'm here today at Grand Oaks Golf Club, home of the famous and iconic film Caddyshack, starring Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. Very shortly, I'm going to be interviewing the one and only and legendary golf swing coach, Jimmy Ballard. We'll be going across to the practice range with Jimmy and three of his students. Three of his students will be wearing a swing trainer known as the golf swing shirt. When I'm over there, I'm going to have a look around and maybe we'll see some gophers. Jimmy, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you, Danny. It's Thank my you. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. One of the questions I wanted to ask you today, Jimmy, you were, I want to take a step back in time in history. You were 17 years old. You were the uh, amateur state champion, Alabama. And then you went on to, to work for Sam Bird as an apprenticeship. Can you tell us more about that? Well, I went to yeah I went to work for Sam when I was 17. I, I, I had played well when I was 14, and I quit golf for three years to play other sports and so forth. But I ended up with Sam when I was 17 years old, and of course that's where I, you know, I learned everything. I mean, he uh, the the first thing that he taught me was a baseball swing and a golf swing are identical. They're just on different planes. Okay. And I, I, I was fortunate enough over the years to know guys like Joe DiMaggio and spend time with them and stuff. And they all say the same thing. You know, everything that Sam's ever told me has been reinforced by DiMaggio and different different players in, in different sports from around the world. That, and Ruth totally knew how and what he did when he swung the bat. So what Sam learned from him was connection. So when I met Sam, uh, I started working with him, the, he started teaching me to teach. And I started with uh, the ladies day and, and we had 50 tees or so and we had balls half price and free instructions. And Sam would start at one end and I would start at the other. And after three months or so of, of me learning and us teaching them all the same thing, these ladies from all the different clubs began to win the club championship and their, their own divisions. And then I started, with, started a program with juniors a couple, three years after that. And same thing, the juniors started winning. We had a, a, a boy named Charles Crinkle that ended up winning the uh, U.S. Small College, whatever they call that then, but it was a small college championship. And we're juniors won, you know, state and stuff. So I had success at every level. And then the tour players started coming to me. And uh, I took uh, DeWitt Weaver and Mac McClendon were two of my first tour players that I worked with. And uh, they were very successful out there. Um, uh, and then along came Jim Colbert and Hal Sutton and Curtis Strange and J.C. Sneed and gosh, I don't know. Uh, we had over 300 at one time. It's interesting you use the phrase connection, okay? You basically invented the, the phrase connection. Can you just tell me, give me a little insight as to what is connection? Well, I think Sam, Sam invented it, uh, I would say, or, or the first guy to start understanding it and teaching it. Uh, but it all came from Ruth, and it all came in, in swinging the bat level. And so the only difference is the, the, the ball is down here and it's not moving, so the plane changed. So you go up to hit down, whereas the planes out here, you're, it's more of a flat and level swing. But that was the first thing that I learned was the two swings were alike. I learned that the left elbow must rotate down in the golf swing. That's part of connection because that ties the left arm to the left shoulder. If your arm goes this way, that's disconnection. Your arm's out of the socket, you lose your entire shoulder. So the elbow has to stay down. Hogan, in the later years that he spoke about the golf swing, he held up pictures of Arden and he said, there's three things in this golf swing that you'll see in every great player. One was the right foot was turned in, not out. The left toe was turned out, not in. And the other was the left elbow rotated down to the ground. So, I mean, all of that is what I've taught all my life. It's exactly, and, and I learned it because Sam Bird helped Hogan to change his swing. He's the one that first told, told Hogan about connection. He's the one that told Hogan about Ruth batting and how it was just a different plane. So, I mean, you know, all of this came about uh, Hogan was a man that didn't say a lot, and I once asked Sam why, why didn't uh, Ben say, or does it bother you that he didn't say how much you helped him, and Sam's answer was, well, he knows, and that's the way those guys thought. Sure, sure. Now, going back to Connection, you're um, endorsing a product at the moment uh, called the Golf Swing Shirt, which is a golf swing training aid. Can you 
give me some insight how that can help players of all level? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's the best thing I've seen to give people feel. And if you go back to Hogan, he always talked about the elbows being tied down and tied together and keeping your elbows on your body. Well, that's what the swing shirt does. And I've always told everyone, you must maintain the triangle in the golf swing. You, you cannot create angles without curving the ball. So again, the golf swing shirt sets you up with the triangle. And as long as you understand to keep your elbows pointed down, you're maintaining that triangle. And the swing shirt helps you to feel it. It wants to pull your arms back to your body so you don't want to get your arms disconnected. It leaves them on your body and it keeps enough tension to hold it there where you'll use your, your, your big muscles to hit a golf ball. Okay, so the swing shirt basically uh, will help players of all levels stay more connected. Oh yeah, no question about it. Uh, when, a, when a player hits a ball and it hits it kind of bad, they might do that two or three times because they're used to going this way. But as they feel the shirt on them, it pulls their arms back so their arms want to stay closer to their body. And I think as long as the player thinks of their elbow staying pointed down to the ground, they'll be in great shape because it really will teach you to swing the club with the triangle. And it, it works in the short game. I mean, I've always said in the golf swing, connection uh, in a putter is nothing but a miniature of the connection in the big swing. And the chip shot and the pitch shot is nothing in the world but a miniature of the big swing. So we just kind of say a putter is just, just back and forth, knee high, you know, just back and forth, but it's still connected. You never want to create the angle. If you create the angle, the ball curves in a putt, chip, or whatever we're hitting. Good, good. Going back to your resume, and the players you've coached over the years. I, I was amazed at the, the players you'd coached and the, the major, major you'd, you'd, these players had won. In particular, you had a period where uh, Curtis Strange, Sandy Lau, Ballesteros all won majors within two, three years yeah. of each other. In, in 80, I think it was 88, Curtis won the Open and correct. Sandy won the Masters and Sebi won the British Open. They did, correct. Yeah. Well, that's an, an amazing feat. And Looking at uh, golf coaches that, that uh, exist these days, likes of uh, Jim McLean, Butch Harmon, David Ledbetter, and more um, to the modern day, you have Sean Foley. These, these guys are all um, like global celebrities now. You're, you have the resume and you're, you're quite low profile. Why, why do you think that is? Well, you know, Today is a lot different than when I was doing it. There's a lot more exposure to golf with the Golf Channel. Uh, we had the magazines, but we didn't have the Golf Channel. And that certainly made stars out of people that uh, have been on because that's what the TV does. But I just never, uh, you know, I was never on the Golf Channel. I never did that. I, I kind of like doing my thing. I always did. I had chances to go with corporations and do some things, but I like teaching golf. I like the way I w am able to work with people. I like my lifestyle of how I can be able to live, so I'm real happy doing what I'm doing. Jimmy, you have a large resume of, of players that went on to win on the PGA Tour and majors, and there was, a, there was like a batch in the late uh, 80s of, of, you had Curtis Strange, Sandy Lau, Ballesteros, all won majors in 88, mm -hmm. um, Strange won the, the Open, won back-to-back -back Opens, mm -hmm. and you had Sandy Lau win the Masters, and then Ballesteros won the, the British Open. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, you know, uh, there's hundreds of ways to hit the ball. Uh, they proved that on the PGA Tour, but there's only one way, to, in my opinion, to hit a golf ball uh, the same way every time, solid, and that is with connection. That's the only way you can hit it solid every single time. And that's the difference in what these players learn from me is they learn connection. And once they achieve connection, it works under the heat every time. I've never had a player that choked because of his golf swing, because they trust it and they know what they do with it once they understand the connection theory and where it all goes. So it, uh, it's, it's great to have them, each, each time that they would change, it was amazing how much more solid and how much more consistent they were. Uh, and it never failed. So, Jimmy, did you teach Curtis Strange, Hal Sutton, Sandy Lau, Seve Ballesteros all the same things? Absolutely. Absolutely. And connection is a fundamental of the golf swing. And I, 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 I teach little old ladies the same thing. Well, it's not any different. I once had a tour player said, I came into you and you said, you told, I was watching you finish a lesson with this little lady out there and she was 75 years old. 
And then when you took a, I took a lesson from you, you told me the same thing you told her. He said, I didn't understand it at the time, but I understand it now. It's a fundamental. If they do that, all the other things fall into place. They can do things easily. It's natural. It's like tossing a ball underhanded. And you're connected when you toss underhanded. Jimmy, another player that I haven't mentioned is Rocco Mediate. And Rocco recently won on the, the Champions Tour. I believe he spent a week with you before he played in that event. Yeah, he did, but I told him the same thing I told him the first day I saw him. <laughs> you know, it never changes, and all we do is work on the fundamentals, and the fundamentals, it's, as Nick Saban says in football, it's a process. And the fundamentals is what gets you there, but you want your players doing the fundamentals better than anybody, and you want to make sure they're doing them. And that's what I teach, okay. and that's connection, and, and, and that's it. You can't do it without it. Jimmy, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.